welcome to website review um, with me, Kim Sawyer. Right, um, you guys are probably staring at my tank and thinking, oh my god, what on earth's going on here? Right, as I've been saying in a, a few of my videos, um, I get I had troubles with hair algae and it just grows out of control. And uh, I got some fish to combat it. Uh, they are Siamese algae eating fish, I believe they are, I'll see if I can find one, it's, there's a couple swimming around on the top there, actually, that guy, one of them guys there is swimming down there, now they do eat it, but obviously they won't eliminate it, um, and it grows faster than I can deal with it, um, they have been keeping on top of it, believe it or not, I did do a partial work change last week, and now this week I've got a lot of work to do. As you can see, the tank looks very bare and very look underloved, and it is, to be fair. I haven't been looking after it as much as I should do, um, purely because I kind of gave up on it and just went, oh, I can't get anything to grow. This hair algae is just constantly growing, killing everything. As you can see, all the plants I had in there are all gone. I've got little stumps of plants that I had in there. Um, it's been an ongoing issue I've had for over a year. I've noticed it's started to slow down now, now though. Um, so I'm hoping if I keep the water changes up regularly now, rather than every once, every two, three weeks, I'm going to do it once a week at least, or if not once every other week. Um, and because um, I haven't needed really to do many water changes purely because I haven't got many fish in here, as you can see, I've only got a handful. Um, but anyway. Today I'm gonna sort of like gonna do a complete overhaul of the tank and introduce some more plants. Uh, plants which I bought from a, a place called Plants Alive. I will leave a link in description down below. So if you guys are interested in fish tanking, keeping fish tanks, and you like me got sick of buying plants or spending at least 10, 20 quid on sort of like two bunches of plants, maybe three bunches of plants. Um, it's a great place to go to, in fact, um, and I'll fully recommend it because um, I've literally just got my package today and I'm going to show you what was in the package uh, in a minute. Uh, but I thought I'd show you the tank before I made any work on it and uh, what was, and I'll show you the tank once I've done all the work on it, hopefully, and uh, you guys can see the difference. And once I've got rid of the bulk of this hair algae, I'm hoping that the, the shrimp or the Siamese fighters here eat whatever I don't get. Um, but anyway, I'll uh, go to the box opening part of the video, so I'll see you there. Okay, guys, welcome to the box opening video. I've taken my, I've opened it up, and I've taken my documents off, obviously, so you guys, so then I won't publicly display my address. But um, basically, I've already had a quick peek at what was in the box, made sure there wasn't any more documents enclosed. But all well, this is pretty much inside it. Um, right. As you can see, the full list of plants I got, and I got these for about 30, 32 pounds, not including delivery, which is another about four pounds, so it's about 37 total. Took, like I say, took about a week from the order to get the plants, um, but as you can see, in, this is good because this tells you what these plants are, the position you should have them in the tank, what the maximum size is going to be. Um, and sort of any comments, oxenogizer, again, try and get it to focus. On some of the, it tells you, it's basically what each, what they do. Good substrate stuff, and easy growing. I don't suspect all these plants are going to probably make it. Um, again, focus is not great, sorry guys. But you get the just you'll get one of these if you do order from and say that's the actual their logo on the top there and this is the group I got for. Uh, you can don't have to go for this if you just want a few plants. You can and um, they range from about four quid upwards depending on what you want to go for really. And um, to say I will leave a link in the description down below for you guys to have a look at them. And I would fully endorse them. They're not paying me by the way to do this. Um, I've paid this for myself. I'm just recommending them because. I noticed there was no actual um, videos about these guys at all. 
Okay guys, sorry about that, I just literally had the door, someone knocking on the door so I had to go and answer it. But like I say, um, do check them out, they're not paying me um, to do this, I'm just giving them a good recommendation. Anyway, I will get on. Um, they give you, these were in the bottom of the bag because I dug them out, I'll just show you. They give you lead strips and plant food. Now I'm just doing some research on how this plant food works because I've never used plant food in my life, I don't tend to use it. Um, see how because they've given me quite a few. You've got one bag there, and then one bag there full of plant food. I don't think I'm going to use all these in one go, I think I'm just going to use a handful of them. And then obviously, they're slow release plant foods. Um, and obviously, these are lead strips for the buttons of the, of the plants itself. Right, anyway, look what I've got. So they, they're very good, they bag up. And they tell you what the plants are actually called, and what they actually do, or what the, what the plants are. Um, so if you want to know what they are, then obviously you can say to other people, "Oh, it's a type of this." Um, don't don't expect me to pronounce these names because, again, but they're looking pretty good. Um, it does recommend that you rinse these off, so I will do this off screen and then obviously plant them. I won't go into the full. Um, planting them into my tank because I think that would go too long even with a time lapse it's just going to be a lot of faffing around but you see there's another one there some more so what I'd say recommend you do is obviously get the names of the bags and obviously correlate it with whatever that is on your list and then plant it accordingly so otherwise if you get it wrong you're going to get tall plants in your in your foreground and short plants in your long ground or in whatever but these look pretty nice I'm liking them already problem is obviously they're unlike a pet shop or aquatic shop you will have to obviously go to the effort of that's upside down go to the effort of um, obviously banding these up yourself they then tend to use cotton wool buds I might I've got some cotton wool downstairs which I might just wrap around the roots just to say uh, just to help them Because otherwise the um, lead weights will cut into the roots itself. There you go. And it's the last bag that's in the box. And the bottom of the box had those lead weights in it. So I might get some cotton wool strips. I think I've got some downstairs. And um, I'll see if I can... Uh, do that, but that completes the box then, um, and I'll, I'll take you back to the tank once I've done all the work to it. I'll see you then. Hello and welcome back. And uh, as you can see, the plants are all in. Not all the plants though. I had quite a few left over. At least what? Probably five, ten, maybe fifteen plants, which I gave to a neighbour to have, um, which he then sort of like gave me. A, a can of beer for the, my trouble, so wins a win. Um, but I've done a partial water change. Um, I've scraped out as much hair algae as I could. There's still bits and pieces still floating around, which I'm hoping that the Siamese algae eaters will eat, or Chinese algae eaters will eat. Um, they're going around nibbling on some of it There's here, there, and everywhere. Um, but it's looking good so far. Um, but the plants are wicked, you know. I was expect, you know. The only thing I would say um, for you guys that are planning on getting from them, obviously, because again, the, there's no the lead weights are very small. I noticed the lead weights are in the packs. It does say on the thing one tablet per per plant. But I haven't done that. I've just mixed in a couple of plant uh, tablets every now and again, just because I know this substrate's gonna. It's got a fair amount of um, sort of natural fertilizer in it from fish pooping and everything else. Um, but I've got one down here. I know no, you should bury those, by the way. Just but I've got one there just to see how long they last. What I might do is once the I've got a few left over. So as the if the um, once um, 
the plants have settled in I can just sort of like slip some into the gravel here there and everywhere on the plants that look like they're struggling but that gives you an idea of what the tank looks like um, and everything else but I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the review for Plants Alive like I said I'm not being paid or endorsed by them um, in any way so I'm you know I thought I'd give them a try and I've not seen any other reviews um, on Plants Alive at all on YouTube so I thought you know might as well make a start and do a review on them um, I would fully recommend them um, a very good cheap price and you, you don't have to pay the middleman you buy them direct from a plant someone who supplies plants um, but if you did enjoy it um, please don't forget to like um, if you didn't enjoy it for any reason again please don't forget to dislike um, and if you know anyone else that might find this useful again guys and girls please feel free to share it helps me a lot and I don't mind you sharing and if you're new to my channel you see other sort of like reviews such as this or anything else that I'm working on um, please don't forget to subscribe I'll see you in the next one TTFN